Hi guys, Clary Berry here. Check out my new berry earrings. You see that? This is realfruitjewelry.com. I found her on Etsy. I love them. Had to have some berry ones. Um, hope you guys are all doing well. This is uh, kind of a hard season <clears throat> uh, for me. I feel great. Um, everything's fine with me and my immediate family, but um, there's been a couple, oh, there's there's going to be some funerals, we'll just put it that way, um, here within the next week or so, I'll probably have two different funerals to go to, so it's been, um, it's been challenging to say the least, I, I'm just going to update you guys kind of on the past week or so, um, haven't been updating very much, I have still been eating, um, almost almost on plan um i have to say uh this past weekend well let me back up let me just talk about last week um last week was my first week that i was really cutting out the salt and it was great because the five pounds that i initially lost and then had gained back i lost them again and have been keeping those off so i slowly lost all of those and um mm -hmm. So, it felt really good. I, I didn't feel as puffy in the face and things like that. Um, so, let's see. All through the week, you know, we, I still had a lot of bananas. I was basically doing my regular, um, my regular diet, which at this point, I'm waking up and having like a tropical smoothie. I just add a little bit of pineapple in with the banana it seems to agree with me and um, I am eating a lot of we ate a lot of mangoes last week uh, mangoes or dates on the side in between and usually I'll have another smoothie if I have enough bananas and in this time it'll either be like a mint carob I just had fresh mint that I was putting in for now fresh mint and carob powder in with the bananas or I was doing um, just carob, basically. So either of those. And then we're doing our cooked dinners, which usually I have a little um, I have a little thing here. On Mondays, we do macaroni. And, of course, it's um, just not macaroni and cheese. And usually I don't even have actual macaroni. It's pasta. I just like the, I like the alliterations. So Monday is macaroni, Taco Tuesday. Um, I finally found some wonderful taco, some wonderful chips. They are organic, they are baked, and they are no salt. So when I get those, I will show those to you. Um, other than that, we've been doing the Isakil brand of tortillas. So we'll either do like a burrito, like a taco, like a just basically take some salsa, you know, put it in with um, some salad, maybe do a wrap, or maybe do some like like a veggie fajita type of a type of a meal, all vegan of course, and um, or something similar to that. We may even do potatoes just with like salsa on them with some salad, or really whatever is clever, whatever we have. But that's Taco Tuesday. Um, we usually do, we're doing Western Wednesday, so I try to save the potatoes for Wednesday and do, um, like a, like a skillet, like a, like a veggie skillet with potatoes or just, you know, mashed potatoes with tomatoes or something like that, something along those lines. And I even, I can't find my little list here, which really bothers me. I try to be organized, but you know how that works. Um, Thursday is Thnick, Thnick Thursday, <laughs> and that would be um, an attempt to make some Indian food or something like that. Um, this is good for me because toward the end of the week I like to um, cook less. So for Thursday, usually doing rice, a rice-based meal, and then going ahead and doing um, stir-fry Friday. So Friday is going to be another type of maybe more Chinese-based meal. And if, you know, if we're out of rice or if I don't have any rice left or if I just don't feel like cooking, then we'll go ahead and order. We have a nice delivery, which while not organic, you know, you could do a lot, you could do a lot worse. 
So I usually just get um, the steamed veggies and steamed rice meal, which is really nice because you can just eat it. I can just eat it all night and it's amazing. So um, that's Stir Fry Friday. Saturday is a slicey Saturday and I have actually not attempted this because, well, I'll tell you what happened this last weekend, but um, I have a pizza recipe which I'm going to try out and tell you guys how it goes and it's basically very very vegan and very very easy so I really hope it turns out figure if somebody else can do it I can do it right so we'll do like a big veggie pizza night on Saturday night and then Sunday is going to be sushi and of course um, I believe that sushi means rice uh, food <laughs> some sort of a rice it could be a bowl or whatever so We'll do rice again and, and maybe make the actual little sushis. Um, I might stay away from the actual seaweed. It's a little salty. Um, I'm just not sure of the benefits there or if I even want to be eating anything out of the ocean at this point with all the pollution and everything. Um, so we may just do collard greens around the outside and have something like that. So, And then also I'll planning on doing a soup for... Um, Sunday evening as well. I really like soups on Sundays. So that's my plan. That's kind of what we're what we're looking at. Um, like I said, my last vegan um, Cynic Thursday didn't really go over too well. I kind of didn't look up a good recipe and I just threw some things in and um, yeah, I, I'll, I'll let you know when I hit upon some good recipes. But so basically what happened this weekend, um, when I we were getting down through all the bananas and getting to the end of the week so I didn't have a lot of extra food lying around but thankfully I got some dates and I'm not even sure how to say it or how to even spell it it's um, not the Delgate nor ones but it's a uh, Daira, Daira, whatever you know what I mean if you're a date person um, and they got here just on time so I was very very happy about that I got Two, two pound bags, 2.2 pound, I got like four, maybe two, I don't know, I'll have to look and show you what I got later, but anyways, I got some dates, so that was nice, and let's go back to chronometer here and see what we did, so over the weekend, let's see, sorry, I'm making you guys wait here, okay, that's what happened, so I finished off my bananas on Saturday morning, we had a basketball game, and then I was planning on coming home after the basketball game, and instead, we ended up just going to my dad's because it was just like a little bit slick. We had a little bit of a snowstorm, and I didn't want to be driving all over the place. So uh, it was kind of nice. Took a little nap Saturday morning, and I ended up, they didn't have any fruits, which I don't know why I need to talk to my mom because she's usually very receptive to my uh, nutrition advice since, um, you know, I can kind of prove it <laughs> sort of thing. So she even at one point said she was going to go vegetarian or vegan, but um, yeah, no, didn't really happen yet so anyway lots of vegetables were around and I found some hummus so I just made a big plate you know a bunch of cucumbers carrots get some radishes um, things like that and I just ate a big plate of, um, of that of hummus and vegetables and the hummus was you know relatively I mean I'm sure it had more a little bit more protein um, but I don't it didn't have a lot of fat in it so that was good the salt was probably up um, and in fact, this day I had some dates. I had about maybe nine dates, maybe a little bit more. Um, this Saturday was very, very, um, I didn't eat nearly enough. I can tell you that. Um, uh, even when I came home, you know, like I said, there's really not a whole lot to eat. So I had some dates and then I went over to a friend's house and drank a bunch of wine. So I, like I said, I've been having like a rough week and so it's just kind of habit at this point still you know certain people you hang out with and so you know my nutrition was really low and everything was really low uh, alcohol was way too high uh, my protein was actually still right on too much fat I guess the hummus did that and let's see where my salt was sodium no I did pretty well and I didn't go over on the sodium so the next day, of course, when I wake over with a hangover, um, let's see, and I probably had like a whole bottle of wine to myself. I was really drunk. 
so anyway um yeah i wake up what is okay so it's february now and groundhog's day yeah woke up and still didn't have a whole lot to eat still munching on some dates but i just didn't feel like a lot of oh wait no i went out for breakfast okay and i have to backtrack on saturday when i ate that big plate of food i my dad had made like three different meals he had like a meat-based cabbage rolls um that my mom had made he warmed those up for everybody and he had a pizza which i think they kept vegetarian but it was still like crappy brand and just full of regular cheese and so like that kind of tempted me for a minute just because like nothing else was made and i was really proud of myself i was like oh i could just take a little bite just because i'm a little hungry but the vegetables really filled me up so i was proud of myself for that but I didn't know what to do at breakfast. I was really tempted to go ahead and have some eggs. And then really the cruelty factor at this point is just like, I don't want to eat that, you know? So what I did is I ended up getting like this mixer choice where you can sort of pick what you want. And so I did really good. I got, well, I did really good with the grits. I got grits and I got hash browns, which I was hoping, I didn't think they would use real butter. Not really cost effective for them and it turns out they're um they are vegan hash browns so that's awesome next time i go there you know um maybe maybe i don't know maybe not because I, the fat was was way too high uh and i don't want to say way too high i mean 15.6 percent fat for the day for eating that and so i i got, I got my four things were grits hash browns and fruit and that would have been okay um, but I went ahead and got the pancakes. So there were buttermilk pancakes. I'm sure there's some real, um, butter or milk or whatever in there. So had a big grapefruit juice. Um, and I actually was still under eating this day and really all I had later on, I mean, I was not hungry until later on in the evening and I made some black bean soup cause I had that in the pantry, had some black beans in the pantry and just put some Cajun seasoning in there and, so, you know, again, I'm kind of off, but I could have been a lot worse. Still at 70% carbs, 15 and about 13 for protein. So, and uh, my nutrition was back up. And so going into the week, you know, oh, let's check out salt too. Yeah, my salt was back way high. So, you know, again, I feel like I definitely failed myself at Denny's, but, um, you know, these things happen and knowing the better choices rather than, you know, the worst choices, making them is, is pretty good for me. So this week I'm looking forward to going to the grocery store tonight. We have a, another big snowstorm coming. Actually, not another big one. We have a really big snowstorm. I think they said like five to nine inches. So we may have the boys home tomorrow. No school for the next couple days. Who knows? But either way, I'll keep you guys updated. And I know that, um, you know, a handful of you guys are watching my videos, and I thank you for that. Please like, subscribe, share if you want, and um, I'm going to keep making them because, you know, I thought maybe I'd stop after, you know, and I am stopping doing them every single day, but it really helps me to stay accountable. So, again, if I'm talking to myself, that's fine, but if you are watching, thank you, and don't forget to eat your fruit.